Hello everyone, Mary Ann from Revealing Light Tarot. How are we all today? I've had multiple requests to read on what on earth happened in the UK election. Uh, there was some quite um, extraordinary uh, things that occurred, I think. Um, more than, uh, I think, a little over half of UK's population wanted to remain with the, within the EU. Um, you had multiple leaks of information um, from uh, privatising the NHS through to um, what could happen with a hard Brexit. Um, you know, you had all the drama leading up to it and, uh, and, of course, the justice card presented. Now, I assume the justice card meant that the UK residents wanted a clean slate. And that clean slate, given the Tories were already in power, would be a change of government. <clears throat> I picked up, obviously, that Labor was struggling uh, and that possibly that, that there could be a co some sort of coalition because I got a very, very strong feeling that um, Scotland, uh, places like Scotland, uh, wanted uh, a big say in things um, and that there were enough uh, Remainers uh, that wanted to be heard. Uh, they didn't want a hard Brexit. They were uh, worried about their economy if there was a hard Brexit. And so, again, you know, justice appeared to uh, uh, to favour a new government being formed. Well, of course, now that we see it, we see uh, that the Tories um, won. Boris Johnson was able to woo over former Labour uh, voters. I would say a similar thing happened in the UK as what happened in Australia. The opposition leader was fairly weak, not not pop, not popular, I wouldn't say weak, uh, but not uh, popular. There was a, a fairly dirty campaign, as there was in the UK. Of course, we have uh, Rupert Murdoch's uh, papers over there, uh, and 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 Corbyn was uh, uh, obviously smeared and smeared badly. But um, the... Suffice to say in the wash-up, um, and I'm glad I put my disclaimer at the end of that video that, you know, I may not be right, because I did I did see this Justice card as, as uh, UK residents wanting to start again. Um, I think now that it's something more, people have said, was the election hacked? I don't think so. I don't think their election was hacked any more than I think uh, Australia's election was hacked either. Uh, we have paper ballots, and I'm pretty sure, I can't confirm 100% that so does the UK. What I do think with this justice card, and we're going to interrogate the justice card now because I think we need to, what I feel with this justice card is that it's going to operate in unseen ways. So Boris Johnson now has a mandate to get Brexit done. In fact, that was his slogan, get Brexit done. He's promised to uh, leave the EU by January the 31st. Um, it, in reality, will take another 12 months to renegotiate trade deals. He's promised that the NHS will is not up for grabs, even though the US uh, President Trump has expressed um, uh, a desire to look at, you know, perhaps privatising, uh, opening the NHS up to US um, US um, companies, health companies. I mean, that would be absolutely disastrous, wouldn't it? But anyway, um, Boris has won, and he's won fairly convincingly. Now, what has fallen out of this in the uh, analysis, my analysis of the votes, and certainly listen to, listening to the commentators, there are some pretty big indicators of justice coming forward here. The first is that the um, uh, Scottish National Party uh, did extremely well. Scotland voted to remain with the EU. Now, um, the first, uh, its minister now, uh, that heads up the Scottish government, has now gone on, um, uh, gone on television um, and has said that Scotland demands a second referendum 
for independence. Similarly, um, representatives in Wales and uh, Northern Ireland, um, Sinn Féin in Northern Ireland, uh, po uh, polled very, very well. Um, in fact, taking the um, DUP, um, which was uh, did the alliance with Theresa May's government um, to see Brexit through, Sinn Féin has actually unseated the head of that party. So what I see is parts of the U of the UK are now demanding more independence from England. And so this justice card, this coalition uh, where, where a wider variety of interests get their say, may have been what I was picking up. Certainly it's something that we're going to ask the cards now. We're also going to ask, we're going to have Brexit. What's it going to look like? Is this justice card uh, another lesson coming forward? We do get what we vote for. We get what and who we vote for. All right, so let's start with tell me, tell me spirit. I've got um, the justice card as a signifier card and I'm just going to ask, tell me about Tell me about this justice card. Justice for all is the phrase that I'm hearing. Justice for all. Justice works in um, sometimes in unseeing ways, ways that we can't, uh, that aren't immediately obvious. We can make an assumption about justice, which is what I did in my reading. But if we dig down a bit, we can see it's far more complicated than uh, than uh, simply being black and white. Tell me about this justice card, Spirit. Tell me about this justice card in relation to the UK elections. Justice, justice for all. Tell me about the justice card and the UK elections. All right, let's see what uh, we've got for, coming forward. So the, this is things changing for the better. So even though we can't see it, in some way, uh, destiny is at play here. This is a karmic cycle. Of course, without clarifying cards, it might mean things not changing for the better. But uh, let's see what's crossing that. Okay, what's crossing it is new starts. Okay, so there's going to be some uh, hurdles in the way of Boris Johnson's government in some way. Now, I don't know what that is because they have a fairly convincing majority. They don't need uh, anyone else to um, uh, to uh, make decisions except those within their own party. Now, some, some Tories that took seats from the uh, Labor Party will be very wary about granting Boris Johnson and, and uh, the London p faction of his party um, carte blanche to do exactly what they say because their seats are going to be their seats are going to be vulnerable. So that's interesting. We've got the Wheel of Fortune, some kind of destiny, uh, and the challenge is this new start. There's also um, uh, uniting. Uniting the UK is also uh, is also there as well. Let me bring the laptop down. So this is what I'm seeing straight away here uh, in relation to this justice card. The foundation of the reading is balance. So will uh, will they be able to achieve a balance. So justice can come forward as a lesson to achieve balance, particularly with this Wheel of Fortune. We've got two major arcanas straight up, and here's our uh, third major arcana, uh, the uh, judgment card, something coming to an inevitable end. Is, is this Boris Johnson is the saviour of the UK? Is that the kind of um, energy we've got behind this? Or is it something else? Um, is, is, I think what I said when I drew that justice card, ensuring that justice is done and justice will be done was the phrase that came to mind. So we have the magician uh, here. And again, I'm getting a pull to uh, a, a, higher, a higher authority, perhaps the divine and destiny working here. Um, the UK uh, historically... Um, has uh, has you know really seen the the unification um, of the Brit what what we know as the British Islands in well, were known in history the United Kingdom but is the United Kingdom so united or is this now a move that will see uh, more independence uh, from Scotland Wales and Northern Ireland um, of course Northern Ireland there will be a Irish sea border. Um, 
with Brexit as well. Uh, so, um, you know, there, it, 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 there's a lot to be done to see Brexit through and a lot that could go wrong. So there are challenges here, I feel. Uh, we've got the Nine of Cups. We've got Wish Fulfillment. Uh, we've also got uh, the Smart Merchant as well. Boris Johnson uh, will be held. I think some of those Tory um, party members were saying they will hold their feet to the fire to make sure that Johnson is a man of his word. Well, that remains to be seen. Let's see what's happening now. We've got control. Uh, we've got the emperor. So uh, I do feel Johnson feels now he's got a, 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 and rightly so, he has a mandate to, I don't know whether it is to do what he wants, <laughs> but because uh, there was some, um, there was media around hedge fund managers that would benefit from a hard Brexit. We've certainly got business uh, business showing up here um the ten the the king of pentacles the businessman the entrepreneur that was always the dark side shall i say the dark side of things and uh and of course uh johnson held back that russian interference in brexit report until so that's got to come forward now as well um the hopes and the fears i really do believe that enough voters that uh, went to the polls lined up uh, there was record voter turnout, want a new start, and they saw Johnson as the best person to deliver that. Um, I think he's a Gemini. We've got the lover's card here. Uh, now, we've got the Knight of Pentacles slowing it down, some kind of, um, you know, slow, some, act, some sort of action that will be slower than what was first envisioned. Uh, and we've got the truth coming forward as well. This is a big whack too. So I think justice will also mean that um, reality sets in now, the reality of Brexit. Um, what's underneath this? There is loss, and it is loss for those that don't want to uh, leave the EU. However, we've got some movement forward, um, and we've got the King of Cups energy coming forward. Um but we've also got this uh, this abuse of power as well. Um, I think um, it will be interesting in terms of those trade deals. Uh, that's where the detail and the ped when the pedal hits the metal, as we say in Australia, is going to come through. Let's see what else. So people did want a new start. They chose Johnson to bring forward that new start. However, he's going to face some difficulties um, uh, really achieving all that he said he would, and so he's going to be held up. Um, that's going. He's going to be held up to account for that. Um, he, there's also some concern I feel around business interests um, here. So let's have a look at whether Scotland. Uh, so this is this isn't the start. This isn't the clean slate. This is the start of. Uh, really where reality kicks in, I feel. Uh, and I feel in some way justice is telling that as well, telling us that, that the reality of leaving the EU um, and all that that will mean, um, the reality of Johnson governing and, and testing the quality of who Johnson is, um, the reality of the truth, because we've got the uh, Ace of Swords coming forward there as well. Um, with that King of Pentacles, I see Donald Trump uh, to be quite honest, I see Trump there as well. Now, Trump has already congratulated uh, Johnson. He stayed out of the mix because um, generally those in the UK uh, aren't Trump fans. Um, but he has, I saw him there in that reading, justice, justice. Uh, the devil will be in the detail, I think, with Brexit. Um, and also the US-UK trade deal, uh, trade deals as well. Um the WTO, uh, again, has effectively been rendered uh, ineffective uh, because Trump refuses to appoint uh, members um, or approve members um, into the appeal, what is effectively the appeals uh, court of the WTO. And so there is no appe appealing um, certain uh, dis trade, um, trade decisions. Um, it's going to be, I feel... Um, yeah, there's going to be ripple. When I want to say ripples from this UK election, we do get what we voted for. Okay, so um, 
I want to see, uh, I want to go to Scotland. Uh, it's First Minister Nic Nicola Sturgeon, who heads up the Scottish National Party, very strident on the BBC this morning, demanding uh, a second referendum for Scottish independence. Okay, so let's have a look here about um, whether or not Scotland uh, will get their second referendum. Well, let's go to the big picture. Will Scotland gain independence from the UK? Will Scotland gain independence from the UK? Very strong trade performer, Scotland. Uh, its trade grew by 5.6%. Um, as opposed to England's trade uh, of uh, increases of 2.1%. So it's outperforming uh, outperforming everyone in the UK and it wants its independence. So is Scotland going to achieve that independence? Is Scotland going to achieve that independence? Is Scotland going to achieve independence from the UK, from England? Is Scotland going to achieve independence from England? All right, let's have a look here. We've got um, juggling uh, juggling something. It's not going to be easy. This person has one uh, foot off the ground. You can see the waves and the ships in the background of this card. Um, this is very much trade focused as well, remembering that Scotland wanted to stay in the EU. Challenged by uh, review, it seems to be it's going to be difficult um, Difficult for Scotland to get that uh, get that referendum in some way. It's maybe blocked. Um, however, we've got the Star of Hope, uh, which is telling me that um, there, you know, there is an intent in Scotland to uh, break away from from England. Look at this judgment card came forward be before uh, something coming to an inevitable end. We've got some kind of offer here. So it could be Johnson offers something at the end of the day or Scotland offers something. Um, we've got the Queen of Cups. I see this as uh, possibly Nicola Sturgeon. She is very, she performed, her party performed extremely well, picking up 48 of the 50, so 57 or 59 seats available to the SNP, um, basically uh, turfing out Conservatives, turfing out Labor and, uh, and putting Scottish uh, National Party uh, candidates in those, in those seats. Um, there is action and action and truth, um, strong, quick action. Um, the uh, environment that that produces is anxiety. What happens if Scotland breaks away from the UK? Um, hopes and fears, of course, Boris Johnson saying, uh, you know, allowing a second referendum. Now, Nicola Sturgeon has said it shouldn't be up to Westminster. It should be up to the Scottish Parliament. And so they are really, really forcefully straight a day after the election, putting their case forward. Look at this. Uh, yes, they are going to not only push fairly uh, hard for it, it looks like they want truth and justice. So again, this is part of that justice card that I saw, this rebalancing of things. If you go back into history, you have um, you have wars between England and Scotland uh, that, that, that were bloody, lives lost. Scotland has wanted its independence, um, but it's not going to be easily attained. Uh, in a way, they're going to have to fight for it. We've got turning their back on something that is no longer working for them. Scotland is uh, performing uh, well on its own. There will be some sort of offer, I feel, um, but there's also loss, and we've also got the King of Pentacles um, as well. So I think where uh, Scotland's breaking away from the UK would... Um, hurt the UK is uh, their economy in some way. But look, uh, if I go one more card here from the top of the pack, I get victory. So I feel that there is a good chance uh, that Scotland will um, will break away from the UK. Um, they're certainly going to fight for it, but it's not going to be easy. Uh, and it's not what Boris Johnson and his government wants, because I feel that that, again, with, uh, with Brexit, would, uh, would impact on the economy. That justice card... Uh, yeah, a clean slate indeed, a clean slate to right the wrongs, um, to give back what was taken. Um, in many ways, justice is a karmic card to make sure that a rebalancing occurs. So just because Johnson's won this election, um, these uh, the troubled waters 
for the UK will will are not going to suddenly miraculously smooth. Um, let's just one more. Um, uh, how will Johnson go? Will he live up to the promises that he made pre-election? Uh, how will Brexit go? Um, how will Johnson and Brexit go? Will he um, honour? Will those what he's promised? He's promised to give the NHS a focus. Um, I think back historically, the Tories did not want the NHS to be formed originally, um, and there's certainly been a lot of austerity and uh, budget cuts from the NHS while the Tories have been in power. Um, let's have a look. Justice, I'm just going to put that justice card back there. Justice, will uh, will how will Johnson go, and will he achieve Brexit? Uh, and how will Brexit go? Tell me about Johnson and Brexit, please, Spirit. Thank you. Okay. So we've got um, a plan, uh, something um, maturing in time, but also this is the Crossroads card. What's challenging that is the past. That's interesting. Having to make a decision, but the challenge is the past. Um, I would have to say the unity, um, more than 50% wanted to remain in the EU. Um, you, getting the country united is going to be Johnson's challenge. However, he's coming forward as the emperor in control, big mandate. Johnson will do what Johnson wants to do. And I think in some way that uh, the emperor is someone who who is in absolute control. I'm not going to say it's an authoritarian, but I think Johnson will flex his muscles more than we'll see another side of Johnson that we haven't seen in the past. Uh, we've got the Knight of Wands, and this is his uh, what could come out uh, in time is Johnson's connection with business. That's where I'm getting. I'm getting a connection uh, more than what we know. Uh, with business and business um, and corporations and, you know, the, the, the money to leak. Um, he's going to have to juggle Brexit, achieving Brexit and stability is going to, uh, is going to be juggling a lot. Uh, it's not going to be smooth waters uh, for Johnson nor for uh, Brexit. We've got judgment in the immediate future and something coming to uh, uh, an inevitable close. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, one could say that Johnson could be judged uh, for uh, very. I don't know. He if he doesn't if he doesn't honour or if he doesn't live up to um, the pictures he's painted, he'll be judged very harshly. Right now, strength. Um, this is a Leo energy um, and, of course, um, this is strength and endurance. Um, and we've got justice in the environment that uh, that is surrounding um, surrounding this strength card. I think the reason that Johnson polled so well was because he was decisive. I think that's what the analysts are saying, that that simple phrase, get Brexit done, uh, was what, Probably, uh, as opposed to um, the Labor leading, leader not being popular, his popularity was appalling. His approval rate was some, some in the 20s uh, at some point. So um, we've got strength and endurance. Now, with the justice card, that's, uh, that's what uh, UK voters are looking for. Get us out of this mess. Get the job done. Um, however, the hopes and the fears, interesting obstacles, challenges, um, partisanship, disunity. Uh, as I said, if people think that the election is just going to produce these smooth waters there, um, it it's doesn't look like that from this reading. We've got the Seven of Cups, um, illusion, delusion, lack of uh, being able to make a choice, um, uh, endings and beginnings, which is clarifying that. So... Um, uh, you know, it could be the ending of the end of um, not being able to make choices, um, or it could be uh, it could be difficulty making choices um, and bringing forward some kind of illusionary, uh, illusionary, um, I guess, politics fooling the people. However, we've got action with the Knight of Wands um, showing us that there will be decisive action. 
Let's see what's on the bottom. Returning to abundance. However, we've got insecurity around that. And of course, we've got dynastic wealth legacies. And unfortunately, we have the tower. Um, yeah, all I can say from that read is that justice will play out. Um, as it's supposed to do. I think one thing we can um, probably take from these readings is that uh, the UK, uh, unity in the UK is probably the number one issue. Uh, Brexit is not going to suddenly solve all of England's problems and Johnson is going to have difficulty bringing forward those, uh, bringing forward um, his electioneering promises. Um, it's not going to be as easy as what he what he made it out to be. He could face real problems of uh, disunity in England, uh, in the UK, obviously, within the United Kingdom, um, but also uh, disunity uh, within his own party as well. So um, justice is still playing out is what I got from that reading and what uh, my previous reading uh, really was trying to tell me. Um, justice is still playing out. All right. Thank you uh, for tuning in um, and I'll be back again with another reading soon. Thank you.